All right, let's look at this one together. This is from, um, I'm not going to try and pronounce that. It's on Instagram. What do you think of the officer uh, hesitated to draw his own firearm? The officer went to Alora Apartments in the 6300 block of Northwest 63rd Street in response to a reported disturbance. He arrived at about 8.16 p.m. on Wednesday. The standoff ensued with officers and tactical team members positioned outside of the apartment waiting on Hill, I guess that's the subject, to surrender. Hill surrendered at around 2 a.m. on Thursday. Police arrested the 40-year-old on suspicion of felony pointing a firearm and possession of a firearm uh, after a former felony conviction. All right, let's take a look at this together and um, evaluate. This officer is checking up on a disturbance call, and things go south when he asks the man what is in his pocket. Can I receive what you have? Okay, put it down on the ground. Right now would be a great time for you to draw your weapon. Okay, stay right there. Do not move. Stay right there. What? Just stay over there. Put what? Please, sir. Please. Please. Please don't do that. 73, I gotta go. Gun. I'm not doing anything. Look, I'm not doing Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't, but, don't, but I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm finna shoot your ass. Don't punk. shoot. Don't I'm finna shoot. shoot your bitch ass. Don't get, drop the gun. Drop I, do, the I gun. don't have it. Look, look. 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 I don't have it. I, I don't, look. I don't have it. The officer was not hit. He had many opportunities to draw his weapon and control the situation, but failed to do so. This All right, a couple different things. Uh, let's go with the positive first, right? And I want to be constructive in this. The positive, great calm demeanor, awesome calm demeanor um, to get him to surrender. Uh, well done, uh, you know, to wait for backup, all that, awesome. On a, on a human level, awesome. On a law enforcement level, you need to be fucking fired. You need to be fucking fired, and I'm going to tell you why. I am not against um, the 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 being in a position. You see these videos every now and then of like law enforcement in other countries where cops will talk guys down. The, the one video of the guy in the hospital, uh, he has a knife in his hands, and the cop just calmly talks him for a few minutes and then disarms him. That's one instance that's going to put that that's circumstantial, right? Circumstances dictate tactics. We've heard about this forever in the academy and so on. Now you are setting the standard in the public eye to fear the black man and woman in America because that's what this is. This is afraid to be on YouTube. This is afraid to sit there and have your job crucified. But what you're also doing is you're condoning this behavior, which I know I keep saying law enforcement, the cops in the street are not the ones who are supposed to change the behavior. They're supposed to wind up uh, observing reporting uh, and passing that information on to your state or district attorney and letting the job of the judge and the jury do the prosecution and the conviction if necessary but when it comes down to this shit you put so many other cops in danger because now it's going to keep moving that fucking line it's Bugs Bunny and Yosemite Sam. I dare you to cross across this line I dare you to cross this one I dare you, and they're doing it the goalpost keeps moving because you fell into the terror of not doing your job, and now you're going to have other people say, shit, we can get away with this. I would not want to be put in your circumstance. I don't think any cop fucking wants to. But when you are put in that circumstance, your training had better kick in, and you had better defend life, even if it's yours. This is shitty, profoundly shitty law enforcement because you now put every single cop in the nation at danger thinking that oh what what if you get what if you get some dumb fuck command staff because last time i checked they are pretty dumb seeing this video and saying we're going to put this in our policy now we're going to make it so that all officers have to back up 20 steps and give the subject reasonable amount of stop time to sit there. He can fire two rounds at you before you go to the, your pistol and then return fire. You know that, uh, that every one of the village admins that sit on your board, they're a member of your, your, your community. You know that, right? So now you get John Q or Jane Q public, who they've lived in the town since before you were born, they sit on that board. They're so far out of fucking touch with reality. They see this video. Chief, because we appointed you, um, you're going to make this into policy. And you're going to enforce it. 
this is this cop needs to be fired and more and more and more cops need to fucking be fired because you guys are proven as time goes on that you're Instagram models and you're lip syncers and that's all you are and you are putting yourselves, other cops, and the community in danger. If this guy went off and he started a shooting spree, it's on you. It's fucking on you. This is absolutely horrible. This cop needs to get fired. End of story. Guys, be safe out there.